In some cases, blood transfusions are necessary in order for certain procedures to happen. If your blood count is too low, you can't go under anesthesia. That's just how it is. So blood transfusions are necessary at that point. And if you have blood types that are especially rare, like either of the ABs, either of the Bs, O negative or A negative, your blood is even more valuable. However, I need to caution you guys. Before you donate, do your research about your blood bank. Why am I telling you this? Well, let me tell you about a little startup company called Ambrosia. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that what I'm about to tell you is purely my opinion based off of the news that I've read and the research that I've done. I highly encourage you all to go research yourself. I will put the links to the articles I read in the description below. Please go read them, go learn more about what you can and form your own opinions. The founder of the company Ambrosia, Jesse Carmazin, has dedicated most of his time, energy, and research into developing an anti-aging procedure that involves injecting young blood plasma from people aged 16 to 25 into older people who can afford the, the procedure, which costs about $8,000. If this concept sounds familiar, it's because legend has it that a Hungarian countess would bathe in the blood of young virgins in order to maintain her youth. You can read all about Countess Elizabeth Bathory and why her legend might be a lie in Rejected Princesses by Jason Porath. Whether her story is a lie or not, legend has it that it inspired Bram Stoker to write Dracula. Yep. We in vampire territory now. No sparkles allowed. Now, normally I wouldn't be suspicious and I wouldn't even be bringing this up. Blood has actually been used in cosmetic procedures before. You can actually get a facial done in your own blood so that you can repair the skin cells of your face. However, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there are several issues. Issue number one, Dr. Carmazine, as he likes to call himself, is not a doctor. He does not have a license to practice. In fact, he and his lawyer signed an agreement that said he would not practice medicine in the state of Massachusetts when he left his residency to begin Ambrosia. He claims that this is normal when you leave your residency and there was no other reason why he was forced to forego his limited license. However, limited licenses expire automatically when residencies are left. In other words, the Massachusetts Board of Registration in Medicine should not have had to chase him down and force him to sign this agreement. It would have just happened automatically. The particular agreement that he signed is pretty much only used to protect patients, which is why this looks very suspicious. And he's not the only one in the company who looks this way. One of the doctors that Carmazine hired had formally been disciplined by a medical board for misconduct. Issue number two, the scientific research supporting that this procedure even works has not been released. Carmazine swears up, down, and sideways that the procedure works, but there's no receipts, no car facts, no proof. The study has been done for over a year and nothing has been published, and other scientists even criticize this procedure as number one, being flawed, and number two, being unnecessary and dangerous. You can, in fact, die from it. The one and only patient who spoke in favor of the company and the procedure died at 65 of cardiac arrest. In short, people are spending $8,000 for a cosmetic procedure that has no guarantee of working. Yet somehow this procedure has been FDA approved. Issue number three, and this is the most important issue. Up until recently, Carmazine has refused to state where he obtained the blood plasma from. However, some of the blood has been tracked to a blood bank in Texas, which recruited teenagers into giving blood by saying they could save lives. When the blood bank was questioned, they stated that their consent forms clearly state that the blood may be used for other medical reasons. Since the blood bank has been contacted about Ambrosia, they have stopped selling young blood plasma. During my journey with aplastic anemia, I needed to have 21 blood transfusions and two platelet transfusions. If any one of those 
had gone into making a rich old person look five seconds younger. There's a chance that I could be dead. There are people in the hospital who need blood plasma in order to survive another day. And instead, it's going to a bogus procedure created by a bogus doctor to make people look young. That's messed up. So, if you choose to donate blood plasma, please, please, please do your research on your blood bank. If you find any connections between them and ambrosia, avoid them. If their consent forms state that your blood may be used for research, ask what they mean. If you hear anything that makes you suspicious, go to a different blood bank. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to purchase a copy of my debut novel, Starforged Orion, so that half of the proceeds can go to aplastic anemia and MDS research. And if you'd like, go ahead and buy a commission off of me. Half of the proceeds of all my art commissions will also be going to aplastic anemia and MDS research. Feel free to check out my Patreon and consider becoming a patron if you'd like to have early access to posts, patron access to a blog or a Discord server, free art prints, signed copies of my books, and the chance to become a beta reader. And don't forget to check out my other social media sites if you want more content. See ya!